every time I try to do something, I get this update screen. Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, updates. You should always do updates, especially uh, when Microsoft or any other vendor is telling you that you should do updates. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, you saw that we installed Unify on a Windows Server 2016 box. Now we're going to do some cleanup and we're going to put an SSL certificate on there. Somebody commented in the first video that they thought that we should move Unify out of the user space and into program files. So we're going to do that real quick and then we're going to issue the SSL certificate. So if we look at where Unify is installed, it's under the C drive, users, my user, and then this Ubiquity Unify. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop the service. We're going to uninstall the service. Hopefully the server is not going to reboot because of those updates. So, but then we're going to move that. Then we're going to reinstall the service and make sure that it stops. So let's bring up our services let's see if we can do it this way and the updates are just a just a, a drag I mean you should do them I don't mean they're like blah I mean sometimes the updates really take over the hardware so we're gonna go down to unify where is it at by the way, we're doing this together. I have never installed an SSL certificate on Windows, but I can't imagine that it's too difficult. And so we're going to see we're going to see what happens. So we're going to stop this guy. We're going to open up our command prompt. And I guess I could have just used the the info here to do it. All right, so now I'm going to do a Java dash jar lib ace dot jar uninstall SBC. That's going to uninstall and unregister that service. So now what we're going to do is we're going to back out of that directory. We're going to come over here. We're going to refresh this and see if that's gone. It's gone. So now we're going to copy this folder. We're going to back up. So anything that is 32 bit usually goes in x86. Anything that's 64 bit goes here. Um, we have to have the 64 bit version of Java. So I think people are going to yell at me no matter which way I do this. So to make it short and sweet, I'm going to put it in in this folder here. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to paste it. And if you're not fine with it being there, when you... Um, you know, do this if you do this on yours, then you can put the files wherever you'd like them. All right, so we're in program files. This is just kind of a proof of concept, you know, can we move it? So we'll go into program files, ubiquity unify, java dash jar lib slash ace jar install svc. We should get a prompt or it'll roll over here. Yep, starting the installation. Installation completed. So we'll bring this up. We'll refresh it. We should have the Unify controller. Let's try and start the service. Service started. We'll refresh. Still running. Excellent. So that's step one. Now we'll make sure that we can still log into the controller and that something crazy didn't happen. 
And I know this has been hotly debated on the Ubiquity community, like why don't we just make the default installation path program files? They could, but I think that the underlying tone, the underlying theme is that Linux is the preferred way to really run this. So let's take a look, let's make sure our login screen comes up. And uh, we're going to do like DNS and DHCP tutorials on this. We don't have any of that set up yet. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cheat a little bit. And we're going to go into Windows System Driver. Drivers, set. We're going to do a notepad hosts. And we are going to call this for the sake of our certificate. Um, we are going to, it's terrible, I can't remember the IP, 66.7. We're going to put a host entry in here. And let's call it um, Winify. Like that, we could do oneify, oneify, oneify. Dot x five. Dot com. Go ahead and save that. Let's see if we can ping oneify. Dot x five. Dot com. Okay, looks like our firewalls have. Uh, we're not. Uh, oh, you know what? That's what happens. When you fat finger stuff, if you got a six, of course we're not going to be able to ping it. I thought, oh, maybe the firewall came on. Nope, wasn't the firewall. Totally me that time. Um, we get a ping going here. Beautiful. Because we're going to need that. All right, so now let's head back over to our Unify folder. And let's generate the... Um, CSR that we're going to need. Okay, so we're going to do Java hyphen jar lib dash h dot jar the slash going the wrong way there. Ace jar new cert unify.howx5.com company name would be H5 Technology LLC Peoria, Illinois, US and survey says certificate for unify x 5com generated so where did it put that? maybe in the data directory so you can see that this was just created. So we'll do a more unify. Uh, we'll do the, the PEM file. So there's our CSR. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to log in real quick. We're going to issue the cert. So hold on just a second. Okay, so we're over at SSLs.com where we purchased the positive SSL, which is like $4.97 a year. Um, at some point, you're going to hit, you've probably done enough of these, uh, where you could do like a wild card so that you can just have unlimited, um, you know, um, additional names on your domain for certificates. But at $4.97 a year, it's going to take you a little while to get there. But anyway, we're here. We purchased a cert. Now we're going to enter the CSR. Let's see if that did it. Beautiful. So we'll tell it to read our CSR. And... Um, you know, installing on a Windows or a Java Tomcat server or any other server doesn't really matter to us right now. H5 Technology LLC, unify.howx5.com. It's going to tell us which domains it will. And we're going to receive an email, get this taken care of. I'll grab the cert and we will install it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went through all the steps, got my SSL certificate issued, and now we have it here. You're going to notice a lot of other files here. 
we're going to unzip this Woonify How X5. We're going to extract everything here. What I've been noticing is that, yeah, they're sending a bundle, and the bundle is incomplete. I've had a lot of people email me. I, I probably had no less than two dozen people email me, no matter what they're trying to issue the certificate for, and say, hey, they've sent me this bundle file, and things don't work, et cetera, et cetera. I have this zip file that I keep called Komodo Files, and if you run into this problem, please email me, and I will send you these files that we use in the tutorial. That way you've got them all. Um, I, I'm 100% sure that Komodo had an awesome reason for doing it. I just don't know what it is and I haven't taken the time to research. None of these certificates that I'm using are expired. So I don't know exactly what the, the deal is there. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and this and this and this. I think, you know what, just to make it easy, we'll move this over here real quick. We'll select all of these. And then we're going to go to C, Program Files, Ubiquity Unify, and then we're going to go to the... I don't think we want to be in the lib directory. I'm thinking we want to be in here. So we'll go ahead and paste paste these in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our command prompt. But in the meantime, meantime, what I did was I grabbed, nope, that's not it. I grabbed our line that we always use no matter which version we're doing this on. And we're going to copy this. Okay, and this, this may give us actually a better idea of where we need to be. So if we're in, it looks like we're just going to move those files actually to the... We will cut these and we will put them right here in the root of the Unify folder. So now they're all there. So if we bring this up, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all. We're going to do a copy. Let's see if we can, ooh, we can paste that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to back this up, and we're going to do Make sure Woonify underscore how x5 underscore com dot security. All right. Um, so let's see what happens here. Okay. So you can see um, that everything imported properly. And now we just need to restart the service. So we stopped it. We restarted it. So now, if we go here and we go HTTPS unify dot x 8443 we should get the green padlock. Now the service may still be starting, um, so this may take just a second. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Service is still running. You know, I get click happy, I get impatient occasionally, and it is a program, it has to initialize, and we just threw a new SSL certificate at it, so we'll give it just another second here. So after the site reloaded, you can see we now have the green padlock, and we can put our, our password in, and we should still have the green padlock. Everything looks good. So that's it. We moved it to program files. We uninstalled, reinstalled the service just in case because I'm not 100% sure what would have happened. It probably would have been a huge fail boat sailing our way. And then we went ahead and used the same commands 
that uh, to get an SSL, SSL certificate uh, to get the CSR created and to install the tickets as we use on the cloud key or a uh, an Ubuntu or Debian based installation. So it's that easy. Just kind of follow along. Go look at the other videos. Grab the link to the doc. If you need it, if you need those Komodo files, let me know. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down there for your purchases. It keeps a little money rolling into the channel here to keep the videos going. It doesn't change your price. Uh, come back, as always, for great content about Ubiquity. Somebody is sending me a Synology uh, RT2600AC. I'm super excited about that, so you're going to get to see that. We've got all kinds of wireless gear and networking gear coming up. Uh, still, though, lots of great Ubiquity content. You know, that's kind of our bread and butter, but we are, you know, branching out and doing some other things just so you know what's out there and available. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them down there. I try to respond to those. And, you know, you're going to see the H5 screen come up. So if you need consulting, make sure you get a hold of us. And I will see you in the next video.